After a long day of work, I find it really therapeutic to just sit down for a few minutes and paint something. It doesn't matter what I'm painting and it doesn't even have to be perfect as long as I sit down and just doodle or color something. And I'm particularly attracted to watercolor just because how compact it is. I used to paint in acrylics and oil and I still do sometimes but then I ended up having so many canvas and I didn't know what to do with all the paintings I had. So watercolor helps to me be compact and less storage and I can just do something in 15-20 minutes. All you need is a pad, color, brush and water and we all have that. And I get it, sometimes it's really tough to sit down and even be in that mood to paint something which is why I'm trying to make it like a ritual so I'm complementing watercolor with some tea get some music going you can have some incense or candle and just get in the full vibe of it there is just something magical about being able to create something whether it's my painting, whether baking, cooking, or making these videos. There is just something magical. I feel alive when I create something. And I try to enjoy the process because it's not always about the end result. Our work and other responsibilities, we are always focused on the goal and the result. And this is that one time where I'm trying to enjoy the process and it's less about how my painting is going to turn out because I'm not selling this I'm not making this for anyone this is just for me and this is my hobby and we put so much pressure on our hobbies and we tried it to be perfect especially when you see online and there are so many incredible creative artists out there and it is so easy to get demotivated and feel like why am I even creating because there are so many better artists out there but we don't really see their process their struggle and how much practice they probably went through and at the end of the day this is my journey and I'm doing this for my happiness because it makes me feel content I saw this leaf technique somewhere and it just felt really childish by collecting leaves, making the outline and painting it. And I wanted to try it out. I don't know if you did this ever as a kid. We used to collect flowers and leaves and put them inside our books to make it flat and just collect it for the sake of collecting it. And this kind of reminded me of that. It is a lot of fun and it just brought me in this fall mode because I'm seeing all these beautiful leaves now with so many different colors and you can't really go wrong with any color you pick because you have green, yellow, red, orange, all different shades of colors and the trails look beautiful right now. I'm here for it. Everything is magical and colorful right now and just painting that, bringing a little bit of that inside the house felt really good and satisfying to some extent and combine that with some tea it's a little bit colder outside now and yeah just I really enjoyed doing this and highly recommend you giving it a try if you have access to leaves and if you just want to doodle or do anything that brings you joy highly recommend it because we spend so much energy throughout the day doing things that we are supposed to do our responsibilities roles and jobs so it's really important to take some time for ourselves and something that makes us content and helps us relax helps us flow and be creative my biggest challenge is usually just getting started and pulling out my art supply and what I tell myself is, oh I don't have enough time, I'm so tired, I'm not in the mood to 
feel creative and those are all valid points and sometimes it's just not the day so i'm just trying to reduce friction as much as possible which is why i enjoy watercolor like i said and i'm making my paint supply more easily accessible i'm putting it right in the living room in a drawer so when i'm passing by and sitting in the couch trying to scroll my phone i can easily pull out my paint supplies and get started without any friction which has been helping me a lot because then i don't have to go upstairs pull out my paint supply and make it a whole thing and i'm also trying to have some running ideas in my notebook so that when i sit down to paint i'm not completely lost and thinking about what i'm going to paint and then i already have an idea that i'm going to do today so those are the things that is helping me at least to get back into it if you can take one thing from this video that would be just reduce the friction from you getting started and remember that we have much more time than we think we do because when i sit down and start scrolling my phone 20 minutes has already passed and then i tell myself wow i could have really used that 20 minutes to paint so yeah thank you so much for watching and being here